Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Gaia Tanager, and we're playing some Rule of Rose. Hey, look, it's a thingy. Jennifer found old photo. It's a faded group photo taken in front of the mansion. I know the name of every single one of the people in this photo. <laughs> but I'm not going to say anything about it. Because that will be spoilers. About saving, you can save your progress by talking to Bucket Knights located throughout the game. Save your game? You probably should! Because this is a PlayStation 2. They ain't got autosaves. Wait a minute. Oh, right, this is my Emily save file. Well, she's never gonna come back, I mean. Can't bring myself to get rid of it. We'll save over here. We'll save on the second one. Save successful. Do, 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 do. So now we've got a picture, but we don't know where the little boy went. Or do we? I was like, the music just cut out. Wait, I'm not emulating this. It shouldn't be messing up. Game. This is a perfect copy of this game. You're not allowed to be messing up. There you go. There's like, the disc has no scratches or anything. Please don't tell me my PlayStation 2 is dying again. <sighs> Old game systems nowadays. Oh, I'm coming for you, Joshua. I'm coming for you. Come here. <laughs> when I first played this game, it scared the hell out of me with all that children laughing. But now I've played it so many times that, well. Dip, 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 dip. So, upstairs. Part of what it. Part of what I always thought about this game is what in the world was going through Jennifer's mind to just follow this kid into this aban apparently abandoned mansion. Like, oh, do you want your book back? <laughs> then again, it wasn't look like she had any other place to go anyway. Scalpel, dental forceps, gloves, scissors, there's blood. Oh, there's blood all over them. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a big red rose on it. Are we going to find out about the rule of the rose? Pretty soon we are. Do -do 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 -do. Hello, Joshua. When the girl approached, I accidentally skipped that. I'm sorry. We need a good voice for Joshua. <clears throat> My, aren't you a slowpoke, like always? Here, let me read you the rest of the story. You know, the book I handed you? <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, read the rest of the story to me. You know, the book I handed you. <laughs> Fine, Joshua. Meanie poo. Okay, I guess we're reading the book again. Uh... Uh, and now there's suddenly more inside of it. And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. At her new home, the aristocrat club lived by the rule of Rose. But the girl found herself very much alone. We just got another page. That's it. We will now begin the funeral. For me? The funeral for me? Maybe. If you think about some of the theories around this game. All those attending, please gather around at this time. Great, creepy girls everywhere. Just what I needed. Come on, Jennifer. The funeral is about to begin. 
Whose funeral is it? It's a funeral for your dear friend. <laughs> so, looks like Jennifer's forgotten a little bit of something about uh, her childhood. A little bit of amnesia going on. And before she realized it, the boy was gone. And the girl was left in confusion. Puppy! <laughs> Gotta save the puppy. Save the puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppy, 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 puppy. Puppy, 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 puppy. puppy. So now we have to follow the barking of the puppy so we can stop this aristocrat club from probably murdering this person who is apparently my friend. It's kind of hard to commentate this over this game in the beginning. But once we get into the next chapter, we'll be all kinds of fine. Puppy! I'm coming for you! I'm coming for you! At least I somewhat remember the layout of the of this mansion. I almost let slip a spoiler, but I didn't. I didn't. I'm good. I'm being a good girl. I'm being a good girl. When the girl went out to the yard, she found a shovel standing before a grave. And as if possessed, she began to dig furiously. I skipped it again, sorry. It's kind of easy to do, seeing as the advanced text button is the same as the <laughs> click on button. But... <laughs> So they just had a funeral for whoever was in there, and now she's already digging it up again. Jennifer, you're a jerk face. Also, she dug that up rather quickly. And how is she not disgustingly dirty at this point? This game is gorgeous. It's the bloody bag. It's the one that they are beating on. Just look at you. You're filthy. Yeah, well, you've got a bag on your head. Bag head. How much water is in that vase? A pitcher thing. This game Please makes no take sense all to start off with. Luggage to section eight of the freight storage compartment. Thank you. How did four children manage to overpower her? She is a grown ass adult after all. Nice way to avoid the upskirt there. Atlas by uh, making everything black. Oh, this is made by Atlas. If I remember correctly, they're the same people who made Catherine, so. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. You can see a very faint outline of Jennifer there, but. Would you like to save? That's probably a good plan. Save successful. No, I don't want to update phone. Go away. April 1930, the unlucky Cloverfield. Somebody opened the bag! And I'm tied up! Kinky! That's not very well tied because her arms are widespread. So, 
All she would need to do to at least get rid of the ones on her shoulders, or at least make them, I don't know, shimmy, would be to shimmy her shoulders up, which would push the ropes here onto the sh onto her neck. I mean, they wouldn't get rid of the ones behind her back, but it would help. Oh, wait, I should struggle. Struggle! It's a struggle, Jenny. You gotta struggle. When the girl woke, she found herself in a strange room. Also, these sound, this sounds vaguely sexual. It was a lo cold, lonely, stinky room. Is anybody uncomfortable yet? Let me out! Maybe you should Good become morning, Vin Jennifer. Diesel and crack your How do you feel? shoulders out of sockets. Let's have a little chat, shall we? I don't wanna. Screw you! Oh, so that's how you feel, is it? Yes! You knocked me unconscious and tried Jennifer, to bury me alive. I know you've been a bad, bad girl. And bad girls need to be punished, don't they? Uh, no, screw you! Oh, you're a bad, bad girl who's not sorry, hmm? I regret nothing. Anyway, I'll be the one giving the orders around here, okay? No! <laughs> screw you! Oh, silly girl. I still don't understand. Well, you will before long. I'm still just struggling and making very sexual noises. Now, I'm going to oh, give you your first order. Every month you need to find a gift and bring it to the aristocrat club. If you don't, I'll kill you. That's not very nice. Anything about this that you don't understand? Also, oh, this escalated quickly. Yes. Yes? <laughs> So screw you. Oh well, it doesn't really matter what you say. You see, Jennifer, there are really only two kinds of people in the world. Those who take orders, and those who give them. So, I'm gonna on, give you an order to I'll let me go. I'll be giving the orders. Not fair? Well, well not really, no. You, Jennifer, nothing's fair here. <laughs> You're a jerk. You will follow my orders or else. <laughs> Well, I am the prince, and the prince rules. <laughs> this is your life, but you'll play by my rules. <laughs> Why does this sound like a saw game? Let the games begin, dear Jennifer. <laughs> Yet again, this game is too loud. There we go. The game can't decide if it's too loud or not. That is a very rusty pair of scissors. That's, um... Please don't get tetanus. <laughs> Please don't get tetanus, Jennifer. That is the last thing we need right now. No? Okay. Good. And so, the rope was cut. Snip, snip. And the girl joined the aristocrat club. Congratulations. Congratulations. I don't think that's a really good thing to be congr congratulating me about. Scissors are just out of her reach. No, they are not! Her arm was like this, and it was almost at the top of them. She could have totally just reached up and grabbed those. But whatever. The blackboard is badly smudged and unreadable. As the girl examined the scarecrow, uh, as the girl examined the headless scarecrow, it pleaded. Lass, please help me find my head. Once I am whole again, I'll return the favor. Okay, and your head is a bucket. When the girl examined the bucket, it pleaded. How does a bucket plead? Lass, please put me back up top my body. Okay. Back atop the headless scarecrow behind you. If you do, I'll help you in return. We're making a save point. <laughs> Jennifer found Bucket. As the girl placed the bucket in its proper place, it spoke. I am the Bucket Knight, keeper of promises. Yet time can be so cruel, for I have aged and cannot remember the past. You know what I refer to, and I know that you know. 
However, you do not know the mo at the moment, nor can you remember. How does that make any sense? Let us recall our memories together in order to remember our promise. Okay, you can get story hints from the bucket knight. That's what the entire thing was. If you ever get stuck, you can go to the bucket knight to ask for a clue. So let's uh, step out of this room and see where we're at. Sector Eight, Cargo Bay. Wait, 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 wait for it. Wait. Ooh. No, I wanted to read the plaque next to it. Darn it! Filth room. We woke up in the filth room. <laughs> that can't be healthy. Also, the music's gone again. This is going to be the quietest let's play I'm ever going to do. Step, 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 step. Hello? Hello? It's a butterfly! I know where I need to go. But I want to go in there, but I'm not going to go in there because the game wants to railroad me to go this way. Sector 8 stairway. Yes, we're on an airship. We are on the fish blimp. Hello? Hello? First class guest sector. Oh, is this going to look slightly better than the filth room? Because it's first class. And yep. The girl has found a strange door, but where does it lead? Well, it looks like the same thing that we saw the really nice aristocrat club stuff earlier, so it's probably that. So, <laughs> uh, check the box. Strange box is attached to the door. There's nothing in it. Thanks, me placed inside. Read the poster. This month's gift, a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Open the door. It's locked, because of course it is. As the unlucky girl stood helplessly, the door spoke. Give me a beautiful butterfly. One per person. Is that clear? No gift, no entry. Is that clear? Give me a butterfly. Give me a butterfly. Find one and you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. Okay. Okay. I guess we probably need to follow them. Or take the things they left on the ground. Did I imagine that? Probably did. I thought there was something on the ground. Or was that later? I can't remember. Ah! Let's take a look. Sick bay. Are we gonna find the doctor? A doctor? Somebody can heal like cuts and stuff? That would be nice. It's not gonna happen, but it'd be nice. The unlucky girl met Hoffman, the strict teacher. When Hoffman caught Jennifer looking at him, he snapped at her. Dirty wretch. That's not Why very nice. Are you always shirking your duties. He's a jerk. The unlucky girl met Clara, the frightened princess. As the princess looked down, she spoke to the girl with a feeble voice. How dirty. Yeah, nobody likes Jennifer at the moment. Nobody's nice. Sick room. That is part of the sick bay. And there's nobody here. Yet! 
There'll be somebody here later. It's a drawing of a large flying fish. There are also a cute picture of children playing happily together. Not anymore, there isn't. I don't think there's going to be children playing happily together today. By the way. Oh, wait. I remember where I'm supposed to go now. Hi, mister with a bag on his head. Looking through the window, the unlucky girl saw that she was above the clouds. Well, that's unfortunate. The airship slowly swam through the sky, carrying the helpless girl inside. Yep, fish blimp. Fish blimp. I'm going the highway. How do I supposed to trigger something? Wait, there was that green butterfly that we saw. That was a while ago. Well, it was more of like two minutes ago. Let's go chase down that green butterfly that we saw floating above our heads just before we got to this area. Oh, first you have to read this though, because I find it hilarious. Social rank, refined status. Duchess Diana. Countess Eleanor. Baroness Meg. Lower class. Poor Amanda. <laughs> beggar Jennifer. I'm a beggar. Also, that didn't put the um, prince and princess on there. Because they're secret. Shh. Secret. Doo -doo. Let's see if we can go catch ourselves a butterfly. A beautiful butterfly. This game probably has some of the most haunting music I've ever heard. It's very apprehensive. It's a butterfly! Well, we're gonna have to find and capture that guy. So we can give our gift to the Aristocrat Club. <gasps> Amanda, you are not taking my butterfly from me. That was Amanda, by the way. You know, the poor. Get back here, Amanda. Get back here. Get back here. Hi. What's up? I should, oh, okay. Guess I'm not allowed to go that way. Anyway, we're at the end of this video, guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I've been playing some Rule of Rose. I'll see you all in the next video.